it's time to replace the last sprinkler controller that I reviewed, the Blue Spray, with the Blossom. First step of taking down an old sprinkler controller is always to disconnect the power and then to find a screwdriver that's actually small enough to fit into these little holes. You also want to remember what colors go with which zone on your controller. I'll usually take a picture of it to, to remind myself. All my wires are disconnected. Now I'm just going to pull it off the wall. So instead of mounting it on that vertical surface that was over here on the, on the right that the blue spray was on, I'm going to mount it to this other surface which I shoved in here when I installed my rain machine to review. This is the Blossom bracket, which is one half of the Blossom unit. I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to this stuff, but I have a level, so why not, why not use it? Uh, the Blossom does come with four of these screws to get it squared away, and I'm sure the level's gonna fall once I start screwing it in. All right, all four screws are in, and I really like how solid this thing feels. So one thing that I missed by disregarding the quick start guide is that the Blossom comes with these cool stickers to attach to each one of your zones. So I'm gonna do that right now just for future reference instead of having to take pictures of uh, my wires. This is the common sticker. All right, all four zones and the common wire are stickered up. Not perfect. I've never had a great relationship with stickers. So one of the things that I'm going to try that's kind of not suggested is that I'm going to go without the Wi-Fi bridge at first and see if it'll work without it because I don't have another port in my router right now and I had to order a switch to actually have another port available in my router and this little thing is really cool because it extends the the range of your Wi-Fi by putting it through uh, the electrical outlets. But since I don't have a port right now, I just want to see if the Blossom will work on just pure Wi-Fi without using the bridge. It's time to wire it up. I really prefer these little uh, push wire things instead of the tiny screwdriver. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we're gonna actually place the controller portion on the bracket. Hmm. There we go, took a little bit. I'm gonna plug it in. Oh yeah, pretty lights. So here's something that I was not completely aware of. It looks like you're required to use a smartphone to set this up. You have to have an iOS device or a Google or an Android device. So I thought I was gonna be able to go to myblossom.com, get it set up and paired up, but that does not look like the case. So um, we'll set it up on my phone. Downloaded the app from the iOS app store installed it, got it going, then I created an account, and then I had to confirm my email address. Once I confirmed my email address, I got into the app. Then I inputted my street address, and I tried that a couple times, but it just kept giving me an error. Then I tried to do auto detect my street address, and then it went into like a two minute uh, dead zone where I just had to kill the app. I killed the app, I came back into the app, and it worked. I did auto detect uh, street address, and then boom, it got me. And then I connected to the Blossom via Wi-Fi, and I inputted my home Wi-Fi credentials. Then I bounced back out, and it was able to connect to the Blossom servers. And I was able to get my zones renamed and get my schedule started. I tested a few of my zones, and they all came through just fine. So now it's pretty much set it and forget it and uh, make sure that the Blossom's actually watering and uh, we'll see after I use for about two weeks, I'll give you a review on how I feel about it.